What really happened to Billy Gray star in Father Knows Best? Billy Gray was born William Thomas Gray on January 13, 1938, in Los Angeles, California. Best known as James Bud Anderson Jr. in Father Knows Best 1954–1960. Robert Young was the father and he passed away in 1998 at 91 years old. Jane Wyatt was the mother and she lived to the age of 96, passing away in 2006. The kids are still with us, with older sister Betty actress Eleanor Donahue soon to be 84 and little sister Kathy actress Lauren Chapin. In real life, Gray was born in Los Angeles, California, to William H. and Beatrice Gray, and began acting like a child. His mother was an actress, and the both of them appeared in Abbott and Costello Meet the Killer, Boris Karloff, a 1949 horror comedy. Billy Gray married Helena Kalianiotes in 1967 and divorced in 1969. Billy Gray started his film career in the late 1940s. He portrayed a young Jim Thorpe in Jim Thorpe. All American and starred in the science fiction movie The Day the Earth Stood Still. Next, he portrayed Bullseye Tag, the younger brother of Annie Oakley in the pilot episode of the TV series Annie Oakley. He became known as the teenager, Bud Anderson on the 1950s sitcom, Father Knows Best. However, a conviction for marijuana possession shortly after had his life take the corner into his childhood passion for motorcycles. He is also a motorcycle collector and businessman. Shortly after Billy turned 15 on January 13, he got his first motorcycle, a 500cc matchless British racing bike in 1953. He rode it to the studio when they filmed, Father Knows Best, and the studio executives didn't have a problem with it until they found out he drag raced with a Triumph 650 on the weekends. They kind of went nuts and made me stop, Billy said. During Billy's time on, Father Knows Best, he rented a basement apartment for $75 a month at a home in Topanga, California. The same house became a home to both him and his motorcycle, Museum, in 1957. Billy Gray lives today in a house in Topanga, California which he bought in 1957 with the money earned from Father Knows Best. As an American actor, Gray was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series in 1959 The award went to Tom Poston. The television show ended its run in 1960. Two years later, Billy got arrested for possessing, marijuana seed and residue. A nearby cop smelled the odor of marijuana being smoked and then searched Billy's parked car. The officer found a bag of seeds Billy had intended to give to a friend and forgotten about along with residue and arrested him. Although a judge sentenced Billy to between 1 and 10 years in prison, he only served 45 days. He smoked weed since the age of 14, but with the charge being scandalous at the time, his acting career took a severe knock. When Billy got the part of a greasy-haired heroin dealer in the 1971 film, Dusty and Sweets McGee, his situation only worsened. Gray continued his acting career into the 1980s, although later roles were not as successful as Father Knows Best. The movie critic, Leonard Maltin referred to Billy as, among real-life addicts and pushers, that starred in the film, and along with his previous possession conviction, acting roles dried up. But it allowed Billy to focus on his motorcycle racing. He became involved with Class A Speedway motorcycle racing from 1970 and raced competitively at Southern California dirt tracks until 1995. Three years later, Billy finally got his name cleared as a real-life addict, when he successfully sued Leonard Malton. In return, Billy received an undisclosed financial settlement and a public apology from Leonard, who said, I did not intend to convey that Billy Gray was a heroin addict or a pusher. The owner came to me one day and said, I am going to sell this house, and you should really think about buying it. Buying a house was the furthest thing from my mind. 
I was still a teenager. But I figured out I had enough for a down payment, so I went ahead and bought the place. The smartest thing I've ever done, Billy said. Besides that, he also invented the self massager called Love and Thumb that got inspired during a trip to Hawaii when he ended up with a sore back. Perhaps the producers of Father Knows Best also suffered from back pain as it took the show a few seasons to even break into the top 30 Nielsen ratings. The show initially got cancelled after its first season on CBS, but then NBC picked it up and aired it for three years. His net worth. Billy Gray is an American actor who has a net worth of $1.5 million. It's his story. It might be helpful with your curiosity. Wishing everyone the best.